Election night looks a lot different these days for former Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. Ate pizza, uh, had some spotted cow with my wife, brother, and sister in law, and watched returns. Ryan in Janesville Wednesday night honoring longtime friend General Andrew Pappas, commander of the U.S. Army Forces at Fort Bragg. Ryan talking to 12 News about the election results Republicans were not expecting. Republicans didn't see that red wave like yeah. they were predicting. Why do you think that is, and what kind of lessons do you think Republican leadership should be taken away from that? Yeah, I think we're going to have to do a lot of soul searching and, you know, head scratching and, and, and looking through and parsing the numbers as to why we didn't perform as well as we would have liked to have. Why do you think it is? I mean, I think Trump's kind of a drag on our ticket. I think, I think Donald Trump um, gives us problems politically. We lost the House, the Senate, and the White House in two years when Trump was on the ballot or in office. And I think we just have some Trump, Trump hangover. I think he's a drag on our, on, our, on our offices and our races. When it came to the likelihood of former President Donald Trump running for president again, Ryan didn't pull any punches. I mean, I assume he's probably going to announce, but I honestly don't think he'll get the nomination at the end of the day. And the reason I think that is because we want to win. We want to win the White House, and we know with Trump we're so much more likely to lose. So it's really clear to me, and the evidence is pretty stark, that if we have a nominee not named Trump, we're so much more likely to win the White House than if our nominee's named Trump. In Janesville, Caroline Reinwald, WISN 12 News.